hello and welcome to my channel. I just spent a whole fucking hour because do, talking over a video and none of my audio even got captured because this fucking application called XSplit. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to install the um, Oomushi's tool and do routine switching. Um, this isn't going to work. I've already walked it through. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to um, set up region switching and what happens when it fails and there's nothing I can do about it. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to get my headset set up so that I can show you guys where to start out with when it comes to settings. Okay. So just give me one second while I get this all set up here because it's really annoying to have to redo steps over and over again, but it, it's Pico. So of course, you know, of course it's them, you know, of course they're stupid. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the screencast. Okay. All right. So now we're in here. Okay. If you don't have developer mode, just go to general about and go down to software, click that, and then you'll get developer mode. Then you click that on. Okay. So now you have that. I am in the Chinese store. So if you can see here, no virtual desktop, it's, it's gone. It's not in here. I'm in the Chinese store. It might show USD because I just ran through this. Um, but yeah, we're in the Chinese store. So, um, yeah, anyway, it's my Chinese account. Let's go ahead and, uh, I'll show you guys how to get rid of Explorer as well. Okay. In this video, because this, this is stupid. It's, it's bullshit. Okay. So we'll get rid of Explorer as well while we're in here. All right. So now let's go ahead and, um, Get this moved in here. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I got this in here. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and you're going to click on here. And this is region checker. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're streaming this across and um, it's installing the applications and things onto my headset. If you haven't installed this before, you need to run this USB driver install. If, don't run it again after you've installed it one time because it took me a little bit to fix it, okay? Um, to fix the driver, <laughs> all right? So anyway, yeah, I'm set to China. I'm logged into my Chinese account. Okay, cool. Next thing you need to do is we need to set up, uh, get it ready for the global store. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the headset back on because running that test installs the applications we need. So let's go ahead and uh, we're back in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and F11 here. All right, so now we're in here. Okay, so the, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to factory test and then you need to change your region to, uh, I have it set to automatically check to USA, but we're gonna just check it anyway. And then we need to go to FX file browser, not FX file browser, but uh, system settings. Then you need to go to apps and settings then you need to go to see all apps. Then you need to go into system, show system apps. And then you need to go through and I'll show you which ones to delete and fix. Okay. So the first one you need to do is events. Okay. Or explore. Okay. Explore. That says home. You just uninstall the updates. Click that. And then you clear cache and storage. And then you're done. Okay, Explorer's gone, okay? So then, uh, that one's cleared. Um, that one is the home, okay? So if you ever, uh, so Explorer's home, and then we need to go through and find the UI matrix, and you're gonna click on here, uninstall updates, and it can't. Uninstalling the UI matrix not going to work. You clear the cache and storage. Okay. And then you can force stop it all you want. Okay. Unfortunately, that it won't let you downgrade. Okay. So you can only upgrade that store. You got to up, uninstall the updates. Then you got to go to storage and cache. Okay. There you go. So there you go. There's all, I think that's, oh, user center. We need to get user center too. Okay, so user center. 
you know, uninstall the updates to user center. And then you need to stop the cache here and do this. And then I usually just force stop it too. Okay. So there we go. We got all that done. So now let's go ahead and go back to the computer now that you have it prepped. Okay. And if you're on a low enough firmware, if it's lower than the, the device that I have, um, that should work, but unfortunately it's not going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. Okay. And I'll show you a failure because this is, it's good to show failure. You know, it's good. It's good to do that. Uh, the bite dance matrix. I don't have the newest version of it. And so I have to see if someone has it. Um, because I definitely need that. Um, if, if it does, I'll make a new video on how to do that. Okay. So that's the failure. Um, no matter what I do, it's not going to log you in. It's going to break and it's not, it's not going to let you in. And uh, if you ever see failures like that, just know that you're not, it's not going to fit you, you. It's not going to work. Okay. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Um, you just have to wait for the next firmware update and not auto update. You just have to switch. If you want to switch versions, you just have to wait. So now I am completely logged out and I can't log back in because I, I just can't log in with my email. Um, none of this is going to work because I can't, I, I just can't do it. So if I do, um, if I go in and I try to log in, it's not going to let me log in. Okay. And, um, because it's, it's just not the right region. It's just not going to work. Okay. Um, I've already tried, um, yeah. Um, so I, I just don't want to show my email off, but it does say the account doesn't exist. So nothing you can do to make it work. Okay. Um, it's just the matrix is, uh, very protected and it's just not gonna work. So what we got to do now is we got to actually go and, uh, I'm going to set mine back. So this is how you go to China version, China region. Okay. Um, and I'll log me back in to that. Okay. So we're just going to go in here and it's just going to reinstall my, um, my applications. It's going to fail on the matrix as well, but that's okay because I already have the Chinese matrix on there and, um, and the store ID is not going to work anyway, but that's okay because the store, I already, I already downgraded to the Chinese version anyway. It's just an older version, so it's okay. All right, so now we're back to CN. So that's cool. Um, to get rid of uh, home, it's that Explorer app. You can just um, disable the home. And that'll get rid of the um, home thing. So there we go. So now we're gonna go back into the headset and I'll show you me getting uh, I won't show my login in, but I'll uh, show you guys that. Oh, Explorer should have been gone by now. Oh, once you reboot, Explorer will be gone because it's not going to show Explorer anymore. So Explorer is pretty much it's it's dead. So it won't show up after you reboot the headset. That's gone. OK, and then um, which is OK, because I don't ever use Explorer anyway. All right. So now we don't have that. And then now we're back into Chinese version. Okay. So now it's asking for a phone number. This is normal for China. And then, um, I'm going to go ahead and minimize my screen while I log in. And the reason I, I just don't want to give out my phone number. So, cause you have to use a phone number to get into here. And then, uh, this time I remember, because I just did this like five minutes ago because of the stupid, uh, um, because of this. Um, yeah. So let me un minimize my screen. Okay. So now you should see that I'm logged in. Here we go. Back in. Uh, the store will show English currency. That's fine. Um, it has to do a China. It has to do a store update. Um, Anyway, this, the store update's fine. It, I mean, it's, it's fine. Um, it's not going to show virtual desktop at all because it's an English version. Um, it, even though it's in English, it doesn't matter. And it's going to show the 
I, it it won't let me buy it um, because I have to reboot my my headset and stuff because it's yeah because of the because I it's this is Chinese okay and um, yeah anyway that's for the update I have no updates five nine five you see what I mean like anyway once I reboot then the store will get fixed again. And um, all my stuff will work again. But another thing you can do too is you can go back into your system settings and then you can look for your apps and then you can go to the store and you can try fixing the store by uh, doing this and then force stopping it. And then see if you can uninstall the update. And then the store should now work accordingly so now I have my Chinese store back okay so the Chinese store is working now and that's because the other version it was stuck in the kind of middle now Explorer's gone you see I got rid of Explorer and that's what Disable Online Home does it just removes the Explorer app okay all right so unfortunately that's the best I can do with what I have because I, I have just outdated Matrix and unfortunately, um, we can re-enable home by clicking that. It'll reinstall the home application, which is right um, at right here. It'll reinstall the home APK. Okay, so there you go. Um, I hope this is helpful. I know that it wasn't like a successful uh, update to go to global, but at least it shows you what to look for when there's a failure. Um, you know, make sure you just do those steps. And um, if you are on an old enough firmware and I haven't updated enough um, matrix, then we're good. But I'm going to go ahead and ask a few people for a newer version of the matrix and then see if that will help us. But um, you guys have a good day and, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.